Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the tech stock for Friday, uh, October 9th, uh, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So um, tech stocks were, uh, it was basically quite a mixed day. Some of them did well, some of them did not really well. Uh, Netflix was down half a percent. Uh, Apple, Amazon were down 0.1, 0 0.16. Uh, however, Facebook and Google were basically the, the tech stocks that we're going to review that did the best. Facebook up uh, more than 2% and Google 1.76%. Uh, so if we look at Netflix first. So Netflix has been on a really nice run uh, for the last two weeks. We have basically gained uh, around 14.36% uh, the last two weeks. And today we pulled back quite a bit and then we rallied again. We, um, we basically ended the tra trading session lower than on Thursday. And this may indicate that we are going back towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average first uh, or the 50 moving average. I don't expect this market to break down. Uh, I don't really expect any of these markets to break down, to be frank, because this market is waiting for another stimulus bill. Uh, but until that news has arrived, and that news will most likely be bad, because I don't expect a new stimulus bill to, um, to pass Congress uh, before the election. Um, to be really bleak about the situation, I don't really expect a significant stimulus bill to pass until January next year. And the main reason for that is that the Republicans and, and Democrats and the, and the President of the United States are basically in a standstill at the moment. And there, I don't really see in an environment like this one anything passing um the congress or the president signing any significant bill of any sorts um furthermore the republicans are mainly focused on um appointing the new supreme court justice and not really focused on uh, another stimulus bill so until we get that news that there's not going to be any stimulus bill will probably just be sticking around within this area here. When that bad news arrives, we may see this market or most of these stocks fall substantially. But I do expect this market to fall, first of all, towards this 100 moving average. Um, I just don't see how this market will rally, uh, any of these stocks will rally to all-time highs without addition, additional stimulus. Um, but we'll see. So if you look at technical indicators, the MACD is looking really strong. The RSI is technically flat at this point. Uh, and the SO is the stochastic, is fairly flat. And the bullish band is indicating that we are basically at the top of this range and we may uh, turn around, probably not tomorrow, but on Monday, we may see this market turn around towards the 50 moving average. If we break the uh, highs of this uh, on Thursday, then we'll probably go higher, but I don't really expect that to happen. Breakdown from here. 50 moving average will be support. If the 50 moving average breaks, then the 100 moving average has proven to be significant support. Look at Microsoft. Microsoft also rallied. Uh, we are still trading underneath the 50 moving average. We need a candlestick like this one above in order to, uh, to indicate that we are going higher. However, technical indicators for Microsoft stocks are not very bullish they are uh, are are skeptical I, I must say they are all fairly flat the macd is uh, is above the signal line and that is bullish however the rsi is looking really weak and so is the is the stochastic 
this does not um, indicate a bullishness. It doesn't really indicate a bearishness either. It's technically just here in the middle, hanging around. This basically market is a good example of a, of a stock waiting for something to happen. And in this case, waiting for additional stimulus in order to kick this um, uh, kick the price to higher price levels. If we were to break the 50 moving average, then we need to break the top of this candlestick at the 214, and then we'll go to the all time high, to the highest here of uh, 233. Break down from here, the 100 moving average is significant support. Uh, further break and broke down to the 100 moving average, then we have the 150 moving average all the way down to 190. Um, and yes. If you look at Apple stock, we are trading just underneath the 50 moving average, which is fairly uh, negative for for this stock at this point. But as the all of the other tech stocks, they are waiting for additional stimulus, and until that news arrives, we'll probably just stay within this area here. Nothing really happened. Um, with Nasdaq or the, or the or Dow Jones or the S&P 500 a day. And it was a good example of a market that did not know where to go. It, that was technically just waiting for something to happen. So MACD is very flat. The RSI is, is looking more promising. Uh, Stochastic is not looking promising. It looks really bearish. So technically, technical indicators are all over the place at the moment. And that is not a good sign. Um, it's not a clear sign that we're going upwards or going downwards. If we were to break through the 50 moving average and the 20, 40 exponential moving average, then we'll go down to these lows of hundred and uh, hundred and five dollars, and then to the to the hundred moving average at hundred and two dollars. A break above this candlestick here will go to hundred and seventeen, and then we need to cross this uh, resistant area here that is around. 120 before we go higher. If you look at Amazon, Amazon did pull back and is now trading underneath the 50 moving average. Uh, a breakthrough uh, below the 50 moving average and these expansion moving averages opens the door to uh, the 100 moving average at uh, 2980 level. Uh, a break above this candlestick here opens the door for uh, this resistant area of 3000. Uh, around 3,350 uh, and so on. Uh, technical indicators for for Amazon are also uh, all over the place. MACD looks promising. RSI looks promising. Stochastic does not look promising. It is really bear, uh, uh, bearish at this point. And the same we can say for the Bollinger Band. We are at basically at the top of the Bollinger Band and may break down from here. But Similar to most of the other stocks, uh, tech stocks, this uh, Apple stock, no, Amazon stock is also just waiting for additional stimulus in order to go higher. If we look at Tesla, Tesla rallied. And again, the 20 exponential moving average has proven to be resistant. And uh, this stock may bounce every single time we get close to the 20 exponential moving average. It certainly bounces when we get close to the 50 moving average. So have that in mind. Uh, we, If we rally more uh, tomorrow, we'll go to these highs of $449 uh, before going to these highs of $500. The technical indicators are also all over the place. MACD is trading underneath the signal line. RSI is looking very... Uh, a bearish uh, momentum and the stochastic is looking more promising for bullish momentum. So basically this uh, indicators are all over the place uh, and that is not a good sign. You need to, to have all the indicators basically working together in harmony in order to get a perfect picture of where we most likely will go. So if you look at Facebook, Facebook rally today up towards the 50 moving average, haven't broke the 50 moving average and we most likely won't. Uh, we most likely will find resistance at the 100 move, uh, 50 moving average and then turn around towards the 100 moving average. 
technical indicators for 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 facebook are also really mixed uh macd is looking more promising uh the rsi is looking really promising stochastics not looking promising and uh, ma the bollinger band is basically technically right in the middle so if we break above the 50 moving average then we'll go to this resistant area here at 100 271 and above uh, if we break down from here then we have the 100 moving average at 250. if you look at google at uh, google rallied as well up towards the 100 moving average and then we stopped there's a lot of work for google stock in order to get through this and i don't believe we'll get through that anytime soon if we don't get additional stimulus which most likely will not happen so we may see a turnaround here towards the 200 moving average uh, or we just see a lot of choppiness within these uh, between these uh, moving averages for the foreseeable future for future uh, technical indicators as well as for the other tech stocks they are very mixed for google um, macd rsi are looking promising uh, stochastic and bulletin band are not looking very promising so at this point we have found resistant at 100 moving average will almost guarantee have major support at the 200 moving average so there is there are a uh, couple of points to to trade here both for for sellers and for buyers if you uh, like these videos you're welcome to support our channel by hitting hitting the support button uh, subscriber button sorry down here in the corner hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos good luck and happy trading Thank you.